All right, well, let's commence to rocking. We're going to go through a couple Morellian riffs here. And the first one is appropriately a song called Killing in the Name. Which is the first single off the very first Rage Against the Machine record. Uh, it's a song that the main riff I actually came up with um, when I was giving a guitar lesson to someone else. I was teaching them how to do drop D tuning, which for you non-guitar players means all the strings are tuned regularly like they normally are, except for the fattest yeah. string, which is tuned down to D. And I was showing this young man how to, uh, to do that, and I just played. I was like, hold on one second. I got my little cassette recorder and I pressed record, saved that for myself, brought it to rehearsal the next day, and the boys collaboratively made a song called Killing in the Name out of that one. Prophets of Rage is a band that I'm in, and the very first uh, single off of our most recent record is Unfuck the World. <laughs> which has a guitar solo that uh, was not a single performance in the studio. I played a bunch of different solos and kind of cobbled together um, a solo that felt almost like it had a sort of a pinch of electronica to it, the way that it kind of like sort of Skrillex cuts in it. Then I had to learn how to play that solo live, which was a bit of a challenge, and I will see if I can do that challenge right now. <laughs> Uh, once upon a time, there was a band called Audio Slave, and the first song from the first record of Audio Slave was a song called Cochise. Which featured a spectacular Chris Cornell vocal and uh, a kind of crazy helicopter intro. Sound a little bit something like this. Cheese by Audio Slay. So this next song is a song called Battle Sirens off of my new Atlas Underground record, which is a collaboration with the uh, EDM group Knife Party. They were one of my principal inspirations this record to create an alloy of our two sounds, my analog, roaring, 50-watt Marshall stack, electric guitar made of wood and wires, and their unique way of looking at music with drops and bass drops and tension and release and it goes something like this. Something like that. Currently on tour with Prophets of Rage, uh, there's a little breakdown moment in the set where I do this uh, sort of symphonic toggle switch introduction to the next song. <laughs> Years ago, when I first started fiddling with the toggle switch, it was when everybody had like the Eddie Van Halen guitars, which were known for having only one knob. And my guitar was very uncool, it had multiple knobs and 
switches and things. And so I discovered that if I turned the pickup, the volume of the front pickup to zero and the volume of the back pickup to 10, when I went between the two, it would be an on off switch. And that had applications. For example, something like the solo in Bulls on Parade, which is like a scratching solo. It's basically, I'm just making this white noise with my hand and then turning that noise on and off with the toggle switch. So that's that, but then um, you can even kind of go a step further and adding the toggle switch with a delay. So basically if I'm hitting one note, it just sounds like this. But I'm gonna play with the delay as if it's another guitar player and we're doing a kind of a dueling banjos. Sounds a little bit like this. That's the end of that. Thank you so Any questions? <laughs>